Waiting, we have 157 students, 22 new families, and nine new staff members. So we've got a lot of lot going on this year. Um, and I meant to say this before the prayer. I did want to just uh, spend a moment telling you a little bit about the School Sisters of Notre Dame who founded our school. Uh, many of you know that Sister Maureen retired last year, but we still do have a sister on staff, and that's Sister Jean. But we always want to put and remember that Mother Teresa Gerhardinger founded our school, or founded our school, founded the School Sisters of Notre Dame 180 years ago, and 53 years ago the School Sisters founded our school. So they lead us in their mission and vision because we. Our mission and vision matches their charism, and they pray for us, and they lead us with their mission of enabling persons to reach the fullness of their potential in God's image, and that's what you see here every year. So uh, we always want to remember them and know that they're in our prayers, and I know they would like us to be pray for them as well. Um, so we have a, a new staff that we're really excited about. You know, we had a great first week. And, you know, there was no chaos. And I told the, the parents earlier that today that because of the culture of Notre Dame, it's calm. The teachers have prepared, and the new students have just really fit in so well. And even in their new classes, and everybody's going home. I had a great day, and we're trying to get pictures to you to communicate and let you know what's going on daily at school. I hope you're getting all of that, or you're follow us, following us on Facebook. Mr. Eckler does a great job of posting things. I think significant for you all is, um, I don't know if you saw that LaunchAbility, we had a, a partnership with them this summer and four of our students did a internship at Baylor Hospital. It was a six week internship and um, just, I went to the graduation last Thursday and it was just a super opportunity for these students. And because our students are so well prepared through our job training program, you know, it went really smoothly. And they had each of the department heads coming and talking about what, how you know, well-trained these students were and how eager they were to, to be a part of the Baylor community. So we're really excited about some new opportunities like that. I think there's gonna be some money coming in through uh, the Texas Workforce Commission to do some summer job placements. So um, we're looking forward to uh, hopefully having some partnerships with them. Uh, I do want to mention you know, our transition coordinator is Meredith Pace, and so we want to make sure that you all are all aware of all the services that you know are going to benefit you and your family and your children. So make sure you get with her. She'll be meeting with everyone to do a transition plan, yeah, this year. So come with your questions and your dreams for your student, and this is how we uh, help you to realize those dreams. So. It's very important that you make this meeting. Um, so look for a, an email from Ms. Meredith. And your student. We want your student to be a part of this. This isn't just a parent thing. This, we need to involve your student as we plan for their future. All right, so we have uh, upstairs, not as many student, uh, new staff as we do uh, downstairs, but we do have some changes that you'll want to know. We do want to welcome Ms. Autumn. Van Volkenberg, she's been uh, job coaching, working with, with Miss Donna. Um, Molly Walker, who worked with us last year, but she's back with us part-time as she works on her master's, uh, doing CBI and vocational. Caitlin Wheeler, who was here part-time last year, is now on full-time. Uh, Raised this year almost $1.4 million uh, just for the operating budget. Um, we did that on purpose, uh, trying to keep the tuition as low as possible because we realize that you all face, as independent as we can make them, they're, they're still going to need your help. So um, we raised that money in several different ways. Uh, one is an affair of the heart, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. That's our big event. It's been going on for over 30 years. Um, we also do a lot of grant writing um, and, and major gifts work out in the community um, and the, our Dallas community is so supportive of our school and your students. It, it really is lovely. Um, we also have a small endowment and we get uh, a draw from that endowment every year. Um, and then we have the annual fund. Um, and it's, it's really important that all of our families participate in the annual fund. For those of you who came from public schools, you may not be really, you know, used to this, 
Um, but all private schools have an annual fund. Um, most annual funds are trying to raise 20% of the budget. We are trying to raise 50% of the budget. So one of the ways that you can help is to make some sort of an annual fund gift. So as we talk to others in the community who do not need this school for their family and are giving uh, philanthropic dollars to us, we can say our parents really do as much as they possibly can. There are several ways you can um, give to the annual fund. Uh, around the, the week of, uh, of Labor Day, uh, maybe the week after Labor Day, you will be getting um, a mailing at home that will include um, an annual fund card. And there are three ways you can give to the annual fund. One is you can write a check or a credit card. Just, you know, that's really easy and that's a one-time thing. You can also, if you would like, have it added to your fax uh, withdrawal every month if you want to give ten dollars a month or a hundred dollars a month or a thousand dollars a month <laughs> to the annual fund um, you can have that drawn from your bank account through fax and the third way and this is really where the way an awful lot of our um, parents give to the annual fund is on North Texas Giving Day. A lot of you are probably familiar with North Texas Giving Day for us and for other uh, organizations that you support. And that will be on uh, September, Thursday, September the 14th. And we'll be sending out lots of reminders with the link and trying to make it as easy as possible for you. And all the gifts that are given on North Texas Giving Day are applied to the annual fund. So please, please help us out by making uh, a donation. Our participation was up last year. We'd like to see it up even more. So um, please, please take care of that for us. Um, the other thing is an affair of the heart. And uh, most of you all have been around for a long time. We don't have that many new families upstairs. Um, but so you know that our gala is um, live and silent auction, dinner, dancing, cocktails, a casino, it's everything. And it's really, really fun. Uh, it will be on uh, November the 4th, this Saturday, November the 4th. Um, and ticket, individual tickets are $250 a piece. Sponsored tables start at $2,500. Um, and so if you can come and would like to come, we'd love to have you. Um, you don't have to get up at a parent table. We, we organize parent tables if you want to buy individual tickets. Um, and it's also a wonderful place to um, volunteer. A lot of our parents do not attend the event but volunteer, and we need a lot of volunteers that weekend uh, for, you know, carting things from here, for setup, for hosting that night with check-in, check-out, bringing things back to the, from the hotel. There's lots of um, opportunities that weekend. We will be sending all those sign-ups uh, sign out electronically and they will go out, you know, probably around the end of September to give you an opportunity to sign up for those. Uh, and those are really fun ways to be around other parents doing your volunteer work. So I encourage you to sign up. Any questions on anything to do with development? Oh, and by the way, our, um, I forgot to say this, but many of you know our, uh, our event chair this year is longtime parent Karen Motes. So if you see Karen, thank her very much for her time and uh, for being willing to help us out this year. Thank you. Had the 15 year long position as HSA president, I think. So many of you all have helped her do that, but she really has been uh, a phenomenal volunteer for us. But this will be Andrew's last year. So we are gonna need somebody to uh, step up and, and help us plan some activities for the HSA and um, you know, we know that we have the carnival coming up and we have our transition fair and we have lots of sign up genius things and ways, that, but we just need you, you get to come meet with me and we talk about uh, various activities that you might want to plan for the school. We've been doing the same things, but we're open to uh, new activities. So if you think you have some time, we can do it by phone. We can, and as I said, the sign up geniuses, are very easy. I'm hoping that works for most people. So, um, anybody want to take that on? Just give me a call. Um, let's see if I have anything else that I wanted to our curriculum because we know that our kids don't come home and tell you what goes on. Mr. Eckler does a fabulous job of posting things on Facebook and 
But, you know, what I've challenged the teachers to this year is to do two students a week that they do some individual communication with, because I think that was the piece that uh, parents felt like they were missing. You get a lot of pictures, um, but how's my student doing? Now, I, I have to tell you that each teacher sees 50 kids, so, you know, getting through that does take some time, but we're going to really work to try to um, improve that communication. And really, if you have any questions, um, please, you know, let the teachers know. They're very responsive, so uh, please let them know. The other change that we didn't mention was Miss E. Do we know Sister Jean? Uh, Sister Jean. Sister Maureen is now in Chattawa, and uh, Miss Eckler has taken on uh, the music classes this year. So she wants to tell you a few things that she's got planned. Thank you. It's, it's good to see all of you. I know most of you. Welcome to the new families. Uh, something that's going to be a little different year that, this year that I wanted to tell you about. The students are still going to earn points. They're just not going to have to keep up with a piece of paper with all the points on it. I'm doing this really highly motivating program called Class Dojo. A lot of you I sent emails to, but also each of your homeroom teachers has a paper that they're gonna give you today when you go to their room, and it tells you how you can even log on and see how many points your student has earned and what they've earned them for. They mostly earn them for following directions and singing and participating, going to events, helping people, things like that. And you can see all of that when you follow the directions on the paper or respond to the email that I send you. I sent most people's. If I miss someone, let me know and I will send you yours. There were a couple people in Bridges that I, that I didn't print out or didn't print when I asked them to, so I will send those out Wednesday. Okay, does anybody have, we're still gonna do a Christmas play, we're still gonna do handbells, we're still going to do all of the things you've done before. I just came up with a new way to measure those points. So if anybody has any questions about music and, or anything like that. Okay, well, I look forward to a wonderful year. Thank you.